Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Chelsea and I'm a full-time reseller. I sell on Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, and Facebook Marketplace. And today it is a dark, dreary, rainy day. So all the ambiance is necessary. I've got my twinkle lights on, I lit my candles, got my little lit up pumpkin over here and my lamp. So sorry if the lighting is a bit off. This is what we're working with today, but I wanted to take you along with me today throughout my day just to kind of see what a day in my life is like, um, what kind of tasks I do. I'll give you a haul later of what I plan on photographing today. Um, if I ship anything, see guys, sales have been slow for me. So let me see if I even have things to ship out today. It's been, it's been a little rough lately. So yesterday I actually had a good amount of sales. I had 10 sales to ship out, but I worked I worked hard for those. Um, I sent out a bunch of offers the other night um, on probably about like, I don't know, 75% of my closet I'd say. I did like the bulk offer feature and I just went through and clicked on everything I wanted to send an offer out on and I sent a 30% off offer. So I made some good sales from that and then I made some sales on eBay. Yesterday I didn't list anything. So this may be why I don't have anything to ship out yet today. And I say yet because um, I'm hopeful. I think sales will come. But anyway, um, I thought I would share with you guys my numbers from October later today. I'd share with you some of my goals for this month and a little challenge I'm gonna be participating in. So if you wanna see all of that, stay tuned and I'll take you along with me throughout my day. Okay, so the first task that I've really already started this morning, but I'm gonna be continuing is relisting. Now, <laughs> this is probably gonna be a little confusing. I have Vendu, but I prefer relisting on Poshmark with Seller Insight. So that's what I'm gonna be using right now to relist a few things. And then um, I will be cross-listing some things on Vendu. So those are gonna be my first tasks for the morning. Unfortunately, I don't have things saved in my drafts that are already photographed, so I do need to photograph new items. But before I do that, I just wanna get some things relisted and some things cross-listed. So I'll, I'll show you how I do that. So the first thing is with Seller Insight. So I'm gonna just um, relist a few things. And my strategy with relisting is to use closet clear out days to drop prices on things that need to be relisted. So if something has a lot of likes and I'm like, you know, I could probably price drop that a little bit more. I would be willing to take less. I'll price drop it by about 25 to 30% because I do typically send out 20% offers about, you know, 10, 15 minutes after somebody likes something. So they're already getting that 20% offer. They didn't accept that. The other day I sent a bunch of 30% offers. But anyway, what I'm trying to do is drop my price to like the lowest I'm willing to take on closet clear out days. And then a couple days from now, if that item didn't sell, I'll relist it. Um, as I'm coming across items that need to be relisted that like don't have any likes, I'll just relist it all together now because there's no point on price dropping it if nobody has liked it. Does that make sense? So that's what I'm gonna be working on right now. Um, so yeah, let's get busy. So the reason I like to use um, seller insights to relist is just because that's really what I've always done even before I had Vendu. Plus I feel like it's good because I can see um, exactly how many likes there are in something and um, decide whether or not I wanna relist it depending on that. I don't know, maybe Vendu would do be just fine to relist, but I just prefer the hands-on feature of this. Plus what I'll do is I'll relist a lot. Like if I'm standing in line for a grocery store or just in the car and my husband's driving, like I just like the hands-on aspect of Seller Insights for this because um, Vendu doesn't really work as well with the foam. Now this has a lot of likes, but it's already down to $12. So I'm just gonna relist it. Um, and it's part of my four for 25 sale. So these people have gotten low offers. So I'm just gonna relist this item. So normally with um, Seller Insights, when you're relisting, you can use like the top right hand, left hand corner up there. See where it says 942 on, on this little screen recording. You would click up there and it would take you right back and forth to the listing. But um, since I'm screen recording, I can't click on that. So I have to keep clicking in and out of the app. So that that is one step that's making this a little, little bit more tedious, but that's 
basically how seller insight works i really love it just because it's it's so fast to relist and then when you delete the title it saves the old title so it makes it a lot easier okay now this is something i'll probably price drop because it has 11 likes and i have it listed at 40 dollars. i could do lower than that so i'm just gonna price drop it to 30 dollars and then you see up there at the corner it says it price dropped to 25 percent below so now i'll go to um seller insights i'm not going to delete the listing the original listing because all i did was price drop it so now i'm going to press skip and you see how it says 150 skipped down there those are all things that i've price dropped that need to be relisted eventually so yeah anyway here's a turtle this is like a little um I don't know ceramic turtle i'm gonna just price drop this guy too i would take less for him um just to note when you're price dropping for a closet clear out if you have an item that you price drop below ten dollars the buyer will not get the shipping discount it's only for items ten dollars and up so i have done that before where i've price dropped things below ten dollars thinking like it helped for closet clear up no closet clear out messages will only be sent out with the discounted shipping for items ten dollars and over so just keep that in mind i'm just gonna skip that that's one of my bundling items same with this okay here's something i can i think i'll just price drop this because i think i could i'd be good with 25 dollars for this so a lot of my pricing strategy is like in increments like 50 dollars $32, $25, $15. So that's kind of how I roll like when I relist things. So yeah, that's just a little sneak peek of, or a little peek into what I do when I'm relisting with Seller Insights. Um, now I'm gonna move on over to Vendu and get some things cross-listed. Now I do have a VA who helps me with this and you know, I pay her per week. So basically all I do when I'm cross-listing is put in like the shipping weight and then look over what she did and finalize it. So I do this really quick. So I'm just gonna do six items. That's what I try to do every day is cross list six items. I don't know why I picked six. That's just the number I chose. So I'm gonna cross list six items that my VA has already put in all the item specifics for and yeah, get that done with. So I save the weight of the items in my Poshmark listing. That just seems to work best for me. Um, I used to save them in my spreadsheet, but then I was having to go over to my spreadsheet to figure out what the weight of the item was to put into eBay and Mercari Facebook marketplace. And it was just an extra step. So I started saving it in the other info part on Poshmark because I take a picture of the weight of the item whenever I photograph it. So when I put it into Poshmark, like the listing, I put that photograph in when I draft it. Sorry, this is like a long process but I put that photograph in when I draft it of the weight of the item like the actual picture I took so then I put that in my other info makes it easier when I go to cross list it so that's why I open up my Poshmark listing because I upload my Poshmark listing to Vendu I hope that makes sense so this is one pound one ounce which is a bummer because it can't ship first class and it's only one ounce over so that stinks so what I'm gonna do is go to the Vendu listing and go to one pound and I'm going to do two ounces just because of the weight of the poly mailer. I like to just leave a little bit of room for error there. Okay, now I can go to eBay. And since I have extra pictures, I need to rearrange my pictures a bit to make sure that um, all the pictures I want are being shown here. Like I want the buyer to see. And this is like hard for me because I love showing all of these extra pictures so the buyer knows exactly what they're getting. So just like figuring out which pictures are essential and which aren't is like, ah. I want to I want the buyer to see all of these so they know exactly what they're getting um, anyway and then the first 10 pictures are all that Poshmark shows so I really just try to keep the essential pictures in the first 10 and then um, put like any extra pictures in the first 12 for eBay so that's what I'm doing here um, one thing I love about the update with Poshmark is that the full-length title is allowed now like that 80 character title so i write out the whole title and my va doesn't have to change that for me anymore which i feel like is really good so i'm just picking buyer paid shipping flat rate i'm gonna lower the price on this for ebay um, i normally price 20 percent higher than what i want on poshmark and then on ebay i only like do about i don't know 15 percent higher than what i want maybe 10 percent higher 
because it's just a different platform. People expect offers on Poshmark and I send out some pretty generous ones, but on eBay and Mercari, people like to see things that are a little closer to their actual, what, they're, what they chose. Anyway, this isn't a motorcycle jacket, so I'm gonna update that. This is why I, I double check things. This is more of a, oh, it's more of a blazer, but I don't see that. Maybe, just go with other for now. I'm not too particular about getting the category specifics exactly perfect, but it's definitely not a military jacket. So I'm going to change that. Okay. So medium, I don't know why the size doesn't save when my VA does it, but we've had this issue for a while now. So I just, I'm like, whatever, I'll change that for her. All right. I'm going to list it on Mercari. Um, it's been glitching with me with Facebook lately too on Vendu. I don't know what the deal is here, but it says it's not being listed, but it actually is. So I just am like, okay, that's fine. Okay. This I'm going to list at $40 on, um, Facebook just because Facebook is like literally the cheapest. Okay. Let's see if it works. Let's just see if it'll transfer. Sometimes it'll say that it's not working and then I'll go to Facebook and it actually will have uploaded. So I'm going to check and see if that's the case. And I don't mind like fixing it on my phone if I have to. Oh, I do have one order on Facebook marketplace. So even though it hasn't been going so great on other platforms, I do have a Facebook marketplace sale to ship out today. Yay. Okay. So this listing actually did get posted on Facebook, even though Vendu is telling me it didn't. So I just, I'll go in there and make sure everything went through correctly. So anyway, that's what I'm going to do for the next like four or five more items is just get all of these things cross listed. Okay, so has anyone else shipped using FedEx Smart Post? Um, I thought with FedEx Smart Post, based on what Mercari was telling me, that I had to take it to FedEx to ship it out. And that was the only way to ship it. So I kept taking it to Walgreens every time I would sell something over two pounds that I was shipping FedEx Smart Post. Well, then one day I had scheduled a pickup and my mailman came and I said, Hey, do you guys take FedEx Smart Post? And I showed him the package and it does have a USPS like scanning thing on it. And he says, Yeah. So he took it. So now I've just been doing that and I haven't had any issues. So I don't know if you guys knew that maybe I'm like late to the party, but FedEx smart post, um, my movement takes it. So I don't have to head over to Walgreens anymore for shipping things that are over two pounds. I know FedEx smart post is like really slow, but I haven't gotten to, I think I've had one upset buyer on Mercari for shipping time, but I feel like most people just understand like that shipping has been taking a little bit longer lately. So, um, yeah, I think the savings is worth it for most people to only have to pay $7.99 for shipping rather than like the $12. And with Mercari, I do just use their shipping options. I don't want to go through like pirate ship and stuff like that because I think your protections for like using the platform are only if you use their shipping options. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and it's just easier. So that's what I do. I don't use like my own shipping options for Mercari for only saving a couple cents when the buyer's paying shipping anyway. I always do buyer paid shipping. So that's just my personal preference, but something I learned recently, FedEx Smart Post can be shipped through the USPS postal system, which is pretty dang cool. Okay, just a few more items and I will be done. Few minutes later. Okay, so now that I got all of that cross-listed, I'm just going to log into Facebook marketplace and just like make sure that everything went through correctly because it's just being a little glitchy lately. I don't know what the deal is, but I just go in here and, um, I just check out my listings and make sure that they're all posting correctly. For some reason, the ones that are like in error on Vendu, they'll just show up on here as 
this listing is being reviewed. And for some reason, if I just click the three dots in the side, I click edit listing and I just double check to make sure everything went in correctly, it'll post. So I don't know what the deal is, but it's not too inconvenient to do this extra step. Usually whenever there's an error like this on Vendu, they'll end up fixing it within a few days. So it's fine. This is just what I've been doing the past few days to kind of like make sure that everything gets posted. That is my little morning routine is always to post whatever cross listings I have. Um, my favorite thing to do in the morning is also to get up my Poshmark listings. I just feel like I am more productive in the morning working on computer activities rather than like photographing and stuff. Plus right now it is like really dreary outside. So it's kind of a bummer that I have to go photograph right now, but I mean, I don't have anything to list, so I really need to go and photograph. So anyway, that's going to be my next step. But before I do that, I thought I would um, share some of my numbers with you from the month of October and then share with you the challenge that I'm doing. So maybe you guys can join in with me. So I'm going to finish this up and then I'll jump back in here in just a minute to let you know what the challenge is and what my numbers were this past month. Okay. So I'm just going to share my, like just this little part of my spreadsheet with you. And I just wanted to compare September to October for you. So yeah, there was a little bit of a difference. I mean, it's not like I went down like too much. So in September I made $4,367.90 worth of sales. And then October I made $3,916.61. Um, it was just kind of a bummer because lately every month I've just been kind of like maintaining that like $4,000 in sales for the past few months, which has been exciting. So I kind of went down, but that's okay. It's not like a huge difference. Anyway, um, October, I just wasn't consistent and I didn't stick to the routine that I know works for me. So I really got to get back in my routine. Um, at the beginning of October, I went on a little road trip and then when I came back, I just like was struggling getting back in my routine and the routine that works for me is photographing my items in the afternoon and listing in the morning. So first thing when I get up, you know, I get up, I read my Bible, I have my devotions, um, eat my breakfast, all of that. And then right after that, I pull out my computer and I get my listings up. I do my cross listing. I do my relisting. I do all my computer work in the morning. That is what works best for me. And I have found that 10 items a day is a really good goal for me. Like just listing 10 items a day has kept me with the income that I enjoy having. Um, so anyway, that's kind of what I did for a while and it was really working well for me. And then in October, I just, I, I don't know, I kind of fell off the bandwagon and I wasn't as consistent with listing those 10 items a day. So Macy, my friend Macy over at Blue Consignment, she posted recently that she needs to do some type of challenge to keep herself motivated in the month of November. And I was like, girl, let me know if you want to do a challenge because I am totally game. So our challenge is to list 10 items a day in the month of November. So I'm game for that. Like that's exactly what I want to keep myself listing. So if you want to join in with us, comment down below and just like maybe every week when we share our update, you guys can let us know how you're doing if you need that extra motivation as well. So I'm trying to get 10 items a day. Maybe I'll also hold myself accountable by posting my 10 listings a day on Instagram. I'll do that for you guys. So if you want to follow me on Instagram, it's Chelsea Sunshine. Um, yeah, tag me if you get 10 items a day on Instagram too. That would be really cool to see what you're listing. So yeah, I'll do that and I'll try to get those 10 listings up a day and hold myself accountable to you guys. So anyway, that's the goal. Macy had another idea that I thought was really cool. She said if for every additional listing we get up to like kind of reward ourselves. So I think I'm going to do the same thing she's doing and that is every additional item that I get up, I'll pay myself a dollar, whoop de doo for each additional item, put it in a jar and then have that kind of be like my rainy day fund, date night money, that kind of thing. And I think a date night money fund sounds really fun. So that should be my extra motivation to see if like, hey, if I can get up a few extra listings a day, by the end of the month, maybe I'll have some good money to go on a little date night or do something fun with that money. So that is the challenge. Um, I encourage you guys to join in and yeah, 
So I'm gonna be doing that this month. So right now I've got a few items ready to go. These cats are totally flipping out this morning. I need to show you them. <laughs> Piglet saw the camera and he's like, mm, not interested anymore. What's going on guys? Are you being so cute? <laughs> they have tore up this cat tree. We got this for them last year and they absolutely love it. You can tell they're spoiled because we have it in the living room. <laughs> but yeah, this is what goes on every day when I'm trying to get work done. Okay, it is seriously like the dreariest day out ever. So I'm just gonna stand here in front of my lighting kit so you can kind of see better. But I'm just gonna get listed um, these items here. I have, or photographed, I have these four items. There are a couple of shirts, or four shirts, that I modeled the other day. And um, I just haven't taken pictures of the actual item. So whenever I model something, I like to get pictures of the item just hanging. Um, on my wall there and then get the measurements and everything else for the listing but then my cover photo will be the model shot so I just need to get those additional photos so that's four items um, now I need six more items so over here on my clothing rack I have some other items that I could choose from um, I actually modeled this the other day too so maybe I'll get this photograph today too but um, I actually cleaned up my personal wardrobe and I decided to get rid of a few dresses so I need to decide with those items whether or not they're worth listing or whether I should be sending them into thread up or just donating them. So I kind of need to go through there and decide what I'm going to do with those. And then I've got some other items over here to list. So I just need to pick out six more items essentially out of here that I'm going to list today and photograph. And then I actually have some flat light items that I've kind of got piling up here. That's an option to do today as well. So yeah, that's what I'm looking at here. This is my death pile that I need to get listed. So let's see what we got here. Okay, uh, so I picked out the items that I wanna get listed today. Unfortunately, I don't have like a ton in one category. I really need to go sourcing again. I went yesterday, but it was just like a really quick sourcing trip. So um, yeah, I've got this stuff here that I need to steam and then hopefully I can get it listed. And I'm really sorry about the bad lighting today, guys. It is just a nasty day outside. So time to get this stuff steamed. All right, so I got this whole basket full of stuff photographed. So I got 20 items done. Yeah, so today is Friday, tomorrow is Saturday. So I'm just trying to get ahead, get some extra items photographed. So I got 20 items photographed so I can list 10 today, 10 tomorrow. Or um, I do actually have plans tomorrow. We're gonna go to a car show and stuff. So since we're doing that tomorrow, I might even try to get all of these listed today in drafts. So all I have to do is post list tomorrow. We'll see though. I, I don't know how much I'll be able to get done since I'm also trying to edit this video and get this posted um, for tomorrow as well. So I've got a lot 
on my plate. So we'll just kind of manage it. The priority today is gonna get 10 listings done and then we'll see where we get from there. But it is noon exactly. So I'm gonna go get some lunch and then I'll work on getting these listings up. And I'm hopeful that I can get more than 10 up today and hopefully have some of those listings saved for tomorrow. So time for lunch. Okay, lunch is served. I made a salad. Um, and some buffalo ranch nuggets. All this is gluten and dairy free. And this is like my go-to lunch. Um, <laughs> so I make this probably three or four times a week maybe. I don't know. It's, it's kind of my go-to unless I have leftovers. So they're just like frozen nuggets and I get like the spring mix salad and I just put a bunch of toppings on it. So that's what I'm gonna have for lunch. I'm gonna go watch a YouTube video, take a break for about a half hour and then get back to work so I'll see you soon okay so I'm done with lunch and I have just been brightening pictures putting them in collages so when I like photograph a dress I like to put it in a collage where you can see the front and the back of it and then I like to go through and brighten all of them because you know today's kind of rainy and dreary outside it's actually 68 degrees right now when it's raining which you know it's cold for Florida so anyway, what I'm doing now is I'm putting all of these in drafts on Poshmark so that way I can get to listing. So not super exciting content, but this is my life here and that's what I'm up to next. A few moments later. All right, so I have everything drafted. Now I'm jumping on my computer to get these items listed. So I thought I would just show you what I have drafted so far. So these are all the four shirts that I modeled the other day and then I went and took extra pictures of them today. So I got those drafted, um, a sweater I modeled, and then some more things. So I have 29 drafts here. Nine of them are just death pile drafts, things that have been sitting in my Poshmark drafts forever that I just haven't gotten around to listing. But the other 20 items are things that I just photographed today that I want to get listed. So here's what I got to work with. Here's my little death pile in case you were curious. Um, this needs to be photographed again so I can show the whole thing. These, I don't know why I haven't listed. I think I was unsure of what the flower was. So I, I texted my mom, she told me, I need to get those listed. These are listed on eBay, but I just haven't listed it on here. This is listed on eBay. They're more eBay items, honestly, not really Poshmark stuff. This purse kind of smells musky. So I'm just kind of like, eh, should I, how do I treat the smell for that? It's just sitting there because of that. This wrap is like a baby wrap, but I, was, I noticed after photographing it and researching it that there's actually a tie that goes around it that's missing. So I wasn't sure if I should list that. This is a bad picture. I need to retake the picture. And these pants have like a little stain on them. So I'm like, oh, should I take the tag off of them and wash them? I don't know. And then this purse, I just, um, it smells kind of funky too, so I just haven't listed it. Anyway, those are why I have like death pile items in my drafts. Has anyone else ever done that before where you have items just sitting in your drafts that you haven't listed in forever? Those are mine. Let me know down below if you're the same or if I'm alone in this. So anyway, I'm gonna get started um, listing these things and yeah, so I guess I'll do a little um, time lapse for you so you can see me listing, but not much excitement here. This is just the time where I play some YouTube videos in the background and just get some listings up. So.
Okay, so I finished listing for today. I finished the 10 items. I did not get 20 items done because I honestly need to edit this video <laughs> before I start worrying about getting any other listings up. I'm just trying to prioritize like an order of importance and getting this video edited is the next thing on my order of importance. So I'm about to end here, but before I do that, I thought I would just show you what items I did end up shipping out today. I had two sales that I shipped out today. The first one was this vintage Tremo Switzerland embroidered cream top. I picked this up, um, so I got a little flea market for a dollar and I just love the like embroidered detail. Anyway, it only sold for $10 on Poshmark, but I didn't get charged any fees on this. So when I look at my fees on this, oh no, I've never mind. I did. So I got charged only 73 cents in fees. So I profited $9 and 27 cents on this. I paid a dollar for it. So it's $8 and 27 cents, which isn't a great profit, but it's something. And then the next sale was this Lululemon sweater. And I picked this up for $1 at someone's storage unit. Um, the buyer paid $29 for it total, but that was with shipping. So I profited about ooh, 15, $16 on this, I think at the end of the day. So those are my only two sales that I shipped out today, which just kind of shows like this is real life as a reseller. Yesterday I shipped out over $150 worth of sales. And then today I have like, what? probably $20 worth of profit, you know, somewhere around there. So it just kind of shows that reselling can be inconsistent, but what I can be consistent about and what I'm striving to be consistent about is the amount of listings I put out per day, because that is something that I can control. I really can't control when my items sell and you know, that I have consistent big sales every day. But, um, yeah, so hopefully tomorrow I have, or tonight I have more sales anyway. Real life as a reseller here. That's why I'm doing this challenge. Let me know if you want to join in on this challenge down below and we can help hold each other accountable on Instagram and through these videos I'll be posting weekly. Make sure you go follow Macy over at Blue Consignment if you haven't followed her already and watch her videos as well. And I'm just gonna sit here and hopefully within the next few minutes be able to drink some of this chai tea. It is so hot right now, it's like steaming. I, yeah, I don't know if you can see the steam in the camera. But I'm going to drink some chai tea, edit this video, and then hopefully get up those other 10 listings today for tomorrow. If not, I can get it done sometime tomorrow evening. So I hope you have a great day and let me know if you're going to join on the listing challenge. Thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. So I'll know to make more videos like this. Bye.